Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to let you know the audio of this video is going to sound pretty trash because I thought my headphone mic was better quality than the phone mic that I've been using in my videos, but uh, it's not. So the audio sounds pretty trash, but whatever. I just thought I would give a little explanation as to why it sounds bad. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy the video. So, I've been gradually losing respect for Domus Live News for a while now. And then, for those who don't know who he is, um, he basically is very active on Twitter. And he has a YouTube channel where he just, he gives updates about things going on in hip-hop. Various little news updates, things like that. And I used to watch quite a lot of his videos. But lately, he has been getting extremely biased. And I'm just losing a ton of respect for him. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. Now, he made a few tweets earlier about Lil Peep, and that's what really tipped me over the level and what made me make this video. Now, the first thing that I've really, that's really been getting on my nerves is how much he is trying to destroy 6 ix 9s reputation. Now, ever since... 6 9 got locked up. All Domus Live News has been doing is making fun of 6 9 That's it. He has called him a snitch to just making fun of him, to making jokes about how, oh yeah, he's complaining about his feet hurt. Da, da, da. He needs to get out of prison. And 6 9 is living in this man's head rent free. Ever since he got out, he has been obsessed with tearing apart 6 ix 9s career by trying to say that, Oh, 6 ix 9 song Trolls can't go number one because it has ad-bought views. I'm like, who cares? Loads of artists get views from ads. Tom McDonald, Bad Lad. Those are two right off the bat. Know. One, because I get Tom McDonald ads all the time. I've gotten a Bad Lad ad. That's how I got into his music. I think I've seen Oren make a few ads, that's one reason why his music is starting to get more popular, plus the whole Dr. Phil thing, but it's not an unusual thing for artists to do, and when someone watches that ad, they're watching that video, so therefore it gets the video views, and then he's been trying to say how he was forging his views, he was buying views, and I'm like, bro, who the hell cares, he's out of prison, his music is exploding, because everyone has to see what Mr. 69er has to say. But dude, you're not going to destroy his career overnight. Now, yes, I do believe 6ix9ine will gradually get less and less. Um, he's going to gradually get more and more unknown. He's going to start falling off, which that's a topic for another video. But it's like, why? you're just supposed to give us news about hip-hop, not focus on this one artist you don't like and try to destroy their reputation and career. Plus, 6 9 feeds on negative energy, so all you're doing is giving him fuel. So congratulations. Another thing, and this is where I'm going to be talking about Lil Peep and X. Now, Domus Live News praises XXXTentacion, praises Cleo, his mother, puts them on this pedestal as the greatest people to ever exist. But earlier he tweeted about Lil Peep and he's like... Just because an artist dies doesn't make them a legend. I don't even consider Lil Peep a top five. Rappers become legends just because they die. I don't even consider Lil Peep top five of this generation. But yet you praise X like he is the best person to ever live. And see, that's what, and I, in a way I agree. Just because an artist dies doesn't put them on this huge pedestal. But you're just being an extreme hypocrite because you praise Juice World and X. Now, yes, Juice World was an amazing artist, but I still there are still things about Juice World I don't like. I think his last album he made while he was alive, Death Race for Love, I think that album was a bit oversaturated. I don't think it needed as many tracks as it did. And sometimes his voice would kind of get like a whiny tone to it. So there. I love Juice World, but I'm still going to complain about him. I'm not going to, but however, I'm not going to judge his new music based on him. Because how do we know that's music that Juice World made and wanted to be put out? How do we know that that music 
wasn't finished by his production. How do we know that's what Juice would want to release? Same with X. That's one of the biggest issues I have with Bad Vibes Forever, because first of all, it just sounded like trash. And then his production team pretty much confirmed that, yeah, this is just a bunch of unfinished songs that we just plugged in the holes with producers and features to make it try to sound finished. But it's not really an X project, and, and like I say, this sounds trash. And then Skins was definitely better. I do think Skins... I originally really loved Skins, but I, um, as of right now, I think it's just alright. It does sound extremely unfinished. But it's just like, okay, you're gonna say Lil Peep isn't even a top five new generation, and just because he died doesn't make him a legend. But you're gonna sit here and praise XXX Tentacion like he's the greatest artist on earth when he isn't. You know, like his last two albums have been not that great. And even when he was alive, I feel like he never fully reached his full potential. I do think I do enjoy a lot of X's music, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like at the where X was when he died, I don't feel like he was a legend at that point. I'm, he was on his way to being a legend, but I don't think he was quite a legend at that point. And it's just, and I have zero respect for Cleo. Like, Domus Live News talks good about Cleo all the time, but I really don't have any respect for her. I mean, she has literally dragged her son's name and legacy through the mud and tarnished it for profit. And yes, the label too, but she doesn't... If you're looking at dollar signs over preserving your son's legacy, I just can't support that. I just There's no way I could support that. And that is why... These, those issues are the reason why I don't really have that much respect for Domus Live News anymore. And, um, yeah. That just about wraps up this video. Again, I am still planning on doing that three-part industry plant series, but something else just kind of came over and I had to make a video about it. Just like there's another thing that I want to make another rant video about that will probably be up today or tomorrow. I don't really know yet. But, yeah. Like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, all the same as my YouTube channel name. So that about wraps up this video. Peace.